Everyone knows the F-35. It's the poster child for next-gen air dominance. But what if I told you there's a new stealth jet, built outside the US, that's turning heads in military circles? Meet Turkey's TF Khan. It looks like the F-35. It talks like the F-35. And some say it might even fight like one. But here's the twist. While the F-35 dominates the skies today, the TF Khan is being built for the wars of tomorrow. And it's got one game-changing feature the F-35 doesn't. This isn't just a new fighter jet. This is the story of a country kicked out of the elite club who decided to build its own. So how does Turkey's stealth jet stack up against America's? Let's break it down. At first glance, the TF Khan and F-35 look like distant cousins. Both are angular, sleek, and built to disappear from radar screens. But under the skin, the differences start to show. The F-35 was born from decades of American stealth research. Every panel, every screw, even the shape of its canopy, optimized to absorb or deflect radar. Its surface coatings, called radar absorbent materials, are constantly updated based on real combat feedback. That's the benefit of flying missions around the globe for over a decade. The TF Khan, on the other hand, is newer to the stealth game. Turkey's engineers have clearly studied the F-35's contours, especially in the nose, canopy, and tail design. But stealth isn't just about looking low profile. It's about what you're made of and how well your systems stay hidden. Early reports suggest the TF Khan uses composite materials and internal weapon bays to cut its radar signature. That's promising. But stealth isn't a checkbox. You don't just build it once and you're done. It's an ongoing war against detection tech. Here's where it gets interesting. The TF Khan is rumored to have a modular structure, meaning Turkey could upgrade its stealth profile over time. In theory, that could help it stay competitive. But right now, the F-35 holds the stealth advantage. It's battle-tested, proven, quietly lethal. But design is just the surface. The real fight? It's what happens inside the cockpit. Climb inside the cockpit and the battle between the TF Khan and the F-35 really begins. The F-35 is often described as a flying supercomputer. Its pilot isn't just flying the jet, they're commanding a battlefield. Multiple sensors fuse real-time data into a single intuitive display. Enemy aircraft, radar threats, terrain. It's all visible through a helmet-mounted display that's so advanced, it practically lets the pilot see through the aircraft. Now here's the punch. Turkey wants the same level of dominance. The TF Khan is being designed with artificial intelligence baked into its avionics. It aims to support real-time battlefield analysis, threat detection, and even decision-making assistance. That's not just futuristic, it's ambitious. And with Turkey's growing defense tech sector, including companies like Aselsan and Havelsan, it's not entirely out of reach. But there's a gap. Right now, the F-35's sensor fusion and battlefield connectivity are unmatched. It's part of the Joint All-Domain Command and Control JADC2, ecosystem, linking it to satellites, ships, drones, you name it. The TF Khan is still in early development, and while its systems aim to match that integration, they're not tested under combat conditions yet. And yet, there's one edge Turkey is chasing. The TF Khan isn't being built just for a human pilot. It's being built to command drones, autonomous wingmen that extend the pilot's vision and strike capability. While the F-35 can do that, the TF Khan may be designed to make it seamless from day one. So while the F-35 rules the skies now, the TF Khan is reaching for something else, control of the entire aerial battlefield. This is where the TF Khan stops playing catch-up and starts rewriting the playbook. While most fifth-gen fighters focus on stealth and sensors, Turkey's TF Khan is being developed with one radical advantage in mind. It won't fly alone. Enter the loyal wingman concept, autonomous AI-powered drones that fly in formation with the main fighter, extending its reach, amplifying its firepower, and absorbing enemy threats. Think of them as robotic bodyguards, scouts, and missile trucks, all rolled into one. And Turkey isn't just talking about it, they're building it. With projects like the Bayraktar Kızılelma and Anka 3, Turkey is laying the foundation for a manned-unmanned team that communicates, adapts, and executes in real time. These drones will feed sensor data directly to the TF Khan, carry out coordinated strikes, and even perform kamikaze-style missions when needed. Now contrast that with the F-35. Yes, the US is experimenting with loyal wingman drones too, 
like the XQ58A Valkyrie, but these are still in the testing phase and aren't yet integrated into regular operations. The F-35 was built for solo missions first, drone coordination second. The TF-Con? It's being designed the other way around. This flips the air combat equation. In the future, it may not be about who has the best jet, but who commands the best swarm. And the TF-Con might be the first stealth fighter built from the ground up to lead that swarm. But all of that power depends on one thing, how fast it can move and what's pushing it through the sky. You can design the stealthiest jet. You can pack it with the smartest avionics. But if the engine under the hood can't deliver, you're not winning any air battles. Let's start with the F-35. It's powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135, arguably the most advanced fighter engine on the planet. Over 40,000 pounds of thrust, super cruise capability, and a proven track record across thousands of combat hours. It's powerful, efficient, and trusted by over a dozen allied air forces. Now look at the TF-Con. At this stage, it's flying with imported engines, likely General Electric's F-110S, the same used in earlier F-16S. Reliable, yes, but they don't deliver the raw performance expected of a true fifth-gen stealth jet. No super cruise, no cutting-edge thermal signature management, it's enough to get the prototype airborne, but not enough to match the F-35 in a head-to-head -head dogfight. But here's the twist. Turkey isn't just building a jet, it's building an ecosystem. Plans are already in motion for a fully indigenous engine, developed by Turkish defense giant Tusesh Engine Industries. If successful, this would mark a massive leap, not just in military capability, but in national self-reliance. It's not there yet, but if Turkey pulls it off, the TF-Con won't just be stealthy and smart. It'll be fast, powerful, and fully sovereign. And that's when things really start to shift. Because next, we talk geopolitics. And the story gets even more explosive. This isn't just about fighter jets. It's about power, independence, and a political rivalry that redefined an entire nation's defense strategy. In 2019, the U.S. made a bold move it kicked Turkey out of the F-35 program. The reason? Turkey's decision to buy the Russian-made S-400 missile system, a move the U.S. called a security risk. That decision didn't just cost Turkey access to one of the most advanced jets in the world. It sent a message, play by the rules or get left behind. But Turkey didn't back down. Instead, it went all in on building something it could never be locked out of again, its own fifth-generation stealth fighter. The TF-Con is more than a jet. It's a political statement, a declaration of sovereignty, a middle finger to dependency, and it's not just about the U.S. By developing the TF-Con, Turkey positions itself as a potential exporter of stealth technology to countries that can't access the F-35, either due to cost, politics, or sanctions. That alone could shift alliances, reshape defense markets, and challenge Western military dominance in unexpected ways. So let's be clear, the TF-Con might not beat the F-35 on paper, yet, but in the geopolitical arena, it's already landed a serious punch. And if loyal wingman drones, indigenous engines, and battlefield AI come together the way Turkey hopes, the F-35 may not be alone at the top for long. So here's where we land. The F-35 is a proven powerhouse, decades ahead in stealth, integration, and combat experience. But the TF-Con? It's not trying to copy, it's trying to compete, and maybe even outmaneuver through innovation, strategy, and a refusal to be dependent on anyone else. Its drone teaming concept, its AI ambitions, its push for full autonomy, these aren't afterthoughts, they're signals. Signals that Turkey isn't just building a jet, it's building a future. And while the TF-Con may not dethrone the F-35 today, it's a warning shot to every nation relying on foreign tech. The next global air power might not wear a star. And stripes. Now it's your turn. Which one would you bet on? Legacy dominance or the rising underdog? Drop your thoughts in the comments.